Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Do you have a message for, I guess, for the people out there who will be helping cover your legal fees? And maybe the people who are um, scared to get out there and protest when, I guess, protest the government has made illegal now. Yeah, I would say, like, just don't don't give in to that. You know, like, that's what they want. It, you know, if you, if you just stay home, if you comply with every little thing they throw at you, uh, they, they, they're going to win. And I don't think it's going to look pretty when they win. You know, I could probably do five fight the find stories every single day and I feel like I would never get to the bottom of the pile because there's just so much heavy-handed enforcement of the coronavirus regulations. Now today I'm going to introduce you to Chris Schmidt. He's just a severely normal guy from a really normal place, Red Deer, Alberta. He went to an anti-lockdown protest and ended up with a $1,200 fine for exercising his constitutional rights to express disapproval of the government in the public square. It's crazy. Check it out. Well, actually, I was standing at, uh, on my doorstep when I got the ticket. But on December 5th, which was a Saturday, you know, there's a rally every Saturday now for uh, against the lockdowns and against the masks. Um, a friend of mine was going. I went. Uh, when we got there, uh, an acquaintance of his showed up. And it was mostly just the three of us kind of keeping to ourselves. And we had like our own little, I guess, quadrant of the sidewalk that we were kind of mostly keeping to so you were being socially distant yeah i mean like we, we weren't like really like compact or in with everybody else too much and uh you know the cops they were like they were filming everybody that was there that day and uh everything at the at the actual rally you know went fine like aside from some woman who drove by and without provocation threw an apple at us nothing nothing like too crazy happened and uh so it was about 30 minutes before the the rally was scheduled to end. It was getting cold and we decided, you know, we've had enough, so we're gonna leave. And we get to uh, the crosswalk to go onto 49th Street and there's a Segway cop and there's a bicycle cop. And at first they don't say anything, they're just talking to themselves. And so we cross the street and I'm, I'm in front of the other guys and we get maybe a half a block down 49th and I hear this commotion behind me and people calling out at me and I turn back and uh, the Segway cop and the bicycle cop, they have uh, the other two stopped. And so I go back and I'm like, okay, well, what's going on? And it was mostly the Segway cop who did the talking. And he said, uh, do you guys have ID on you? And we're like, well, like why? And uh, he said that they, and it was kind of like implied like AHS, uh, asked us to stop you and ask for ID. And so my friend asked him, well, like, what are you going to do with this information as they're taking it? And um, he says he doesn't know. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure, he's sure. like, I said, well, okay, like, are we, are we getting a fine? Like, what, what's going on? Yeah. And, and he says, you know, I don't, I don't honestly know what they're going to do with the information. And so they finish taking all the details and they leave. And then a couple other people that were, I didn't see, but were obviously at the rally. They came over and told us, yeah, like, you guys shouldn't have done that. Like, they're probably going to, you know give you a fine or whatever. And so I kind of didn't think too much of it anymore after a few days, but then it was almost a week later, it was on December 10th, which would have been a Thursday, about eight o'clock or so in the evening, knock at the door, there's a guy, he's got a police jacket on, he doesn't identify himself or anything. And uh, at first he's looking for someone totally different. And I'm like, there's no one here by that name. <laughs> and, and so then he's like, oh, is, is this you basically? And I was like, yeah. And he hands me a, a fine for contravening the order of a medical officer. The fine was given to me on the 10th, and it's certified, like when they sign it, that it's given to you on the offense date, but the offense date is listed as December 5th. Right. Yeah, so. So what's the total amount of your fine? $1,200. Okay, so I don't want you to pay that ticket. I want you to plead not guilty. We're going to put you in touch with a top criminal lawyer who will help you fight the fine you're the client he works for you he doesn't work for us and we're going to crowdfund to cover your legal costs at fightthefines.com do you have a message for i guess for the people out there who will be helping cover your legal fees and maybe the people who are um scared to get out there and protest when i guess protest the government has made illegal now yeah i would say like 
just don't don't give in to that you know like that's what they want it, you know if you, if you just stay home if you comply with every little thing they throw at you uh they, they, they're gonna win and i don't think it's gonna look pretty when they win now, as you heard me say, we're helping Chris fight this fine. The constitutional right to express disapproval with the government in the form of a protest does not go away because there's a pandemic. Coronavirus restrictions do not override the constitution of this country. It's going to cost us way more than $1,200 to fight this $1,200 ticket. But we think the fight for freedom is more important than the bill. Now, if you'd like to help cover the cost to help Chris fight this ticket in court, please donate today at fightthefines.com. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Chris Schmidt received a $1,200 fine for exercising his constitutional right to protest the government's decisions. But we're having none of it. We're helping Chris fight this ticket in court. And if you'd like to help us, please donate today at fightthefines.com. And if you're like Chris and you've received a ticket for doing something that's completely normal and that was completely legal 10 short months ago, plead not guilty and send us the ticket at fightthefines.com.